Hi Lindsay, this is the first in a couple of short videos I'm going to make for you on how to update some of the basic parts of the website. Uh, the first one that we're going to go over is the project gallery here. So these images that show up here and um, yeah, for each of these projects and whether or not you have multiples in there or not, uh, and getting them into the right category. So I usually like to have um, a tab open for both the front end and the back end of the website here so I can monitor my changes as I'm making them. This is what the back end of the website looks like. Um, I will send you a login for this after we get the site launched, but um, when you first get logged in, this is where you're going to be is on the dashboard. This uh, area down the left hand side here is basically your menu for accessing different parts of the site. So the first part that we're going to go to is projects right here. And up will come a list of the projects. Uh, as I mentioned, I think in a previous meeting, you'll probably want to update these to things more specific. So I don't know, maybe Lego Docs works, but these others, you know, I've got Brindley in here and Aleutian in here, which will mean something to you. But then for a lot of these others, they're just generic names for floats because I didn't know what the name of the project was. Um, it's probably going to mean a lot more to you if you put those in there. Um, as you start working with these, give them names that, that make more sense so that you don't have to click in to see what it is. But at this point right now, uh, if you want to you know, modify this one, call it something else, um, or change the picture that's associated with it, we would just click into that. And basically you just get a form here. Um, you can give it the title here, and that's what will show up out here on this main list. Uh, here is where you would load the pictures. And then right over here on the right hand side where it says categories, that's where you assign the categories and that's how it's going to filter based on these buttons here. So if you add it to Lego doc, it'll show up here. You can add it to multiple categories so it can belong to more than one, uh, as I'm sure that makes sense. A lot of your um, docs will also be in the peer category, vice versa. You know, a lot of your projects obviously span multiple categories, so uh, feel free to add it to multiple categories as needed. Um, but as you see, let's see, right now we've got this one titled Lego 4, and we've got this image in here for it, and it says Lego doc. We can also, you know, this isn't right, but we could also add it to the peer category. As you start typing, it'll give you the options there. You just Hit that and click Add. We've got it added to that category now. We could add more images to this gallery. So we click that button. It'll take us to the, um, the media library on the website so we can use what's already in here. Or we can come over to this Upload Files tab and we can add something new that you have. For right now, I'm just going to add something that's clearly wrong so that we can easily find it and delete it. Let's select. Now we've added these two dock lights to the um, Lego dock project. We'll hit update. We've also added it to the peer category. So when we come over here to the front end and we hit refresh, now when we hit the peer category and it filters, you can see that we've you can see that along with all of these peers, we also have the Lego dock. And if we click into this and scroll through, there's our two additional pictures that we added. So that is basically the gist of everything that, that this does to work. It's this projects tab. Let's just go ahead and delete these as well. We'll go ahead and come down here and we'll delete it from this peer category. We'll hit update again. Once that's done updating, we'll come back to the front end of the site. We'll refresh it. And now when we hit peer, you'll see that the Lego dock is no longer included. And if we go back to the Lego dock category and we click on it, we no longer have the arrows because those dock uh, light photos are gone. So that is the gist of that. We just come right down here to projects. We can see the list of all of the projects. If you need to edit one, you just click into it. If you need to add a new one, it's the same thing. You just click Add New up here instead of clicking on the name of one down here. And it'll give you a blank form. And again, you just put in the name of the whatever you want to call it that makes the most sense to you because it doesn't show up anywhere except in the back end of the site. 
right here we add the pictures for that. We can add multiples, so we can hit, let's use one again that's obviously not right. We can hit multiples here, the ladder. We've got multiple images in here now. We'll say this one belongs to um, what uh, bulkheads? Publish. Come to the front end. Refresh. Click on bulkheads here, and here we've got our fake new project. Oops. So you'll see I accidentally added a new category here. We don't want that. We come to bulkheads. Here's our new project, and we can scroll through those images. That is it for that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this so it doesn't show up. Get rid of all this junk. We'll come out here to the front end. And that is all there is to adding new projects to the website. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will be sending you um, more videos on how to edit the basic content on the pages uh, and how to control some of the other parts of the site, like the staff.